Hello and welcome to Fund of Mechanical Engineering on YouTube. This is Deepak Sharma here and today I am going to tell you very important points about the mechanical engineering interview questions and its answers. And uh, in mechanical engineer engineering interview questions and answers, I am going to first tell you that important conversion that will help you to give your interview and uh, that will also help you during the written examination to convert different factors okay while well, whether you are a student or working in the industry mechanical engineering industry these conversions are very important and will help you throughout your life right so quite wasting time let me for let me briefly tell you what are those conversions that i am going to tell you today the the conversions are pressure conversion how will convert the pressure into different units area conversion temperature conversion energy conversion and flow rate conversion right so let me first move to pressure conversion right so this is the pressure conversion in pressure conversion basically you will have to remember some points some points and some conver uh, some points from uh, from that uh, from that you can uh, convert pressure and uh, or qualify your uh, in written exam or you can answer the compression conversion into the, and under the engineering interview or while, while you are designing you will get units in the uh, required data in different units then you can transfer into your required unit right so this is pressure conversion and the most this is the the point i'm going to tell you today that is the most applicable most applicable point in today's industries and today's examination that are the most conversion factor that i am going to tell you that is one is one kg per centimeter square we know pressure is what force per unit area is the pressure all right force per unit area is the pressure and so kg is the four centimeter square is the area so one kg per centimeter square it can if we convert into psi then one kg per centimeter square is equal to 14.22 psi psi means pound per square inch pound per square inch okay again psi converted into two things that is psig and psia psig means with respect to atmosphere and the psi means with respect to absolute pressure that is zero level that only we will we will have to add something that is 14.7 additional if we add 14.7 7 with psig then it becomes psia right you will have to keep in mind that and uh, then next important conversion of pressure is atmospheric pressure to millimeter meter of water gauge okay so one at atmospheric pressure is equal to 10 millimeter of water gauge and uh, that is ancillary that you can if you can remember then it's really good for you and that is a uh, one ATM is equal to how much of how much centimeter of mercury, how much millimeter of mercury, how much torr, how much bar, how much pascal, how much nine centimeter. Say uh, you will have to remember that one cent ATM is equal to seventy six centimeter of mercury, seven sixty millimeter of what uh, uh, mercury, seven sixty torr, one point zero one three bar. 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square is the pascal and 1.013 into 10 to the power 6 dyne per centimeter square that is equal to 1 atm so this is the pressure conversion that you must remember during your mechanical engineering interview or interview or written exam right let me move let me move to temperature conversion temperature is represented either in centigrade or centigrade fahrenheit okay and this conversion if you have the temperature in degree centigrade if you have the temperature in degree centigrade then you have to convert if you will have to convert degree fahrenheit then basically simply you will have to do that degree centigrade value temperature ko 1.8 se multiply kar do. multiply it by 1.88 plus 32 that's okay and if you have the temperature in degree fahrenheit then you will have to convert it in degree centigrade degree centigrade uh, then the degree centigrade then simply what you need to do you need to simply do degree fahrenheit uh, sorry degree fahrenheit minus 32 into 0.55 okay degree fahrenheit into uh, minus 32 into 55 so this is the temperature conversion 
now let me move to the length and area conversion area conversion in uh, length and area conversion what you will to do first you will have to something i am telling you the point that is generally required in today's industry or originally asked in today's mechanical engineer in today's interview question and answers from the industrial application point of view i am not telling you from the, your uh, academic qualification or academic point of view because in academic point of view so many kinds of things so many units are there that you need to need solve different kinds of problem but these units are generally these conversions are generally asked in mechanical engineering interview okay and you will have to know it if you want to you have to qualify then you will have to know it okay then length 1 inch is equal to you will have to remember 15 mm of actually 1 inch is equal to 25.4 mm but uh, basically simply you remember 1 inch is equal to 25 mm okay not 0.4 ignorable and uh, next uh, 1 meter is equal to how much foot that is 3.28 feet always remember okay and 1 feet is equal to 0.305 meter always remember okay again um, that is that is about the length okay and uh, some basic uh, millimeter to kilometer kilometer to meter you know as well i don't have to tell you these things okay and uh, area about the area the most area conversion is uh, is uh, say you are converting meter square to square feet square feet then 10.76 simply multiply by 10.76 square feet okay simply if you have 10 and 1 meter square to 10.76 square feet okay then 10 meter square is equal to 10 into 10.76 square feet okay so this is the area conversion that you must remember next is uh, about energy conversion okay energy and miscellaneous one watt is equal to 3.4 btu per hour one h is sp is equal to 745.699 watt btu per hour 2546.99 tr gpm watts cmh cfm to cfm C, uh, cfm to cmh cfm is equal to cubic feet per minute that is cubic meter per hour this is a convert you use flow rate for air flow rate for air this is used for measuring the flow rate of air that is kilometer kilo calorie to kilowatt tr of refrigeration this is for used for selection of pipe selection of pipe during in piping work okay so how much uh, according to ton of refrigeration ton of refrigeration this is that's this a unit of air conditioning according to ton of refrigeration what uh, size of pipe we required to install the air conditioning plant okay and 1 kilowatt to hp for selection of motor selection of pump and motor we require this unit okay so motor uh, for selection of motor selection of motor you can convert tr to kilowatt you can also select motor selection of motor here so these are this about the important conversions of mechanical engineering engineering interview and question answers if you like my video then please do not forget to subscribe my channel which is fund of mechanical engineering thank you thank you for watching